Hi, I'm Angela with Artisa Masterclasses. For teachers and students, we offer a wide variety of sketching supplies, pencils, charcoals, and different surfaces. Let's focus on charcoal. Everyone grab your sketch pads and let's get started. For this project, you're gonna be needing your compressed charcoal. I'm gonna be using the medium and the hard. You're also going to need your kneadable eraser and your sketch pad. You can also use a sketch board if you choose. Now, you can rip out a sheet of paper from your pad or you can keep it inside. I'm gonna be ripping mine out and using a sketch board. Next, I want to get out my compressed charcoal. We're going to be doing a simple exercise studying value. Value is just basically the light and dark area of an object or space. Let's begin with a very common shape, the circle. So take your material and very carefully make your circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. The good thing about compressed charcoal is that it has its pigments mixed with a binder and it's gonna be harder, so you're gonna have more control over it. Right now we have a circle, which is just a flat two-dimensional object. When we add value to this, we will have a three-dimensional object. The great thing about adding value to any object is that it's going to add that third dimension to it. It's gonna make it look rounder and more realistic. Let's think about the light source. Where is the light coming into the drawing? where is it going to be hitting this circle, which is going to become a ball. Let's have our light source coming in from the left side. So we're going to have our shadows on the right. So right over here, we need to kind of envision in our mind how, where the highlight's going to be and where the shadow is going to be. So the highlight I'm gonna have right over here, and I'm just gonna you know, touch that area with my finger in my mind and where the shadow is going to be cast. So, knowing that this is going to be the highlight, which is going to be pure white, I wanna leave that area alone. And the great thing about charcoal is that you can start to pull the material that's already on your paper. And this is going to be additive and reductive. Now, if you haven't used charcoal before, be prepared because it is messy. Charcoal is pretty dusty. Compressed charcoal is a little bit less. Um, additive means that we're going to be adding onto our paper, putting pigment down onto our paper. Reductive, at some point, we will be taking off the material that we put on with an eraser. So right now, I'm putting in a core shadow. Of course, shadow is going to be the darkest shadow. And you can see how it's already making some dust. I'm just gonna kind of rub that in there. And you see how I'm already filling up the paper just with this dust, just by pushing it around. And again, this is gonna be a very simple exercise. And you see how I can just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and making a gradient as we start to go around this circle. And you can see how it's starting to look more and more like a ball or a sphere. And we need to again decide where is that highlight going to be. Now, at this point, if you want to, you could be using a blending stick or tortillion instead of your finger. And if you don't have that, you can even wrap up a tissue paper and use that paper towel. So here we have our coarse shadow, we have our mid-tones, and then we have our highlight right over here. Very, very simple, and we wanna leave that highlight 
just as it is. Leave the highlight as it is. Now at this point, I'm going to get out a eraser, a kneadable eraser. So hopefully you guys have one of those. And the great thing about kneadable erasers is that you can um, manipulate it so much that you can you know, basically craft a very fine tip to it, which is what we need for this right now. So the light's coming in in this direction. We're going to have a cast shadow on the right side. And I'm just going to very gently pull up some of the charcoal that I put down here because we want to have reflected lights close to where the shadow is going to start to be cast on the surface. And what do I mean by surface? Well, right now we have a sphere that's kind of floating in space. <laughs> so we're going to need to ground it. And how do we ground it? Very simple. We're just going to make a line here and here. So now we have the illusion that it's on a table, a chair, some flat surface. And since we're using our eraser, let's just clean up the edges a little bit. And let me just smooth out these lines a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to create our cast shadow. So we have to look at the surface. Look at where the light is hitting. How far is it going to come out? Just kind of smooth out the edges. Again, this would be a good time to use a blending stump. I'm just going to make this a little bit darker down here. So we have that contrast. And let's get our eraser again and just clean up the area. Now the next thing we can do is just to add some more drama to the scene. Add some more shadows to our surface. And if we want to fill up the picture a little bit more, we can go in there with our charcoal and just start creating dark shadows. Fill up the background. And then just go in there and rub everything in. And you can see how you have the dust on top of the paper. Again, you can move that around, press it down, bring it even to the other side of your paper. Charcoal is very unique in this. It's, it's somewhat similar to chalk, where you're going to have that dust. Um, you can also mix it with water and make a kind of wash. So you can see how we start off with it being as a stick in a stick form and then we have this powder to use and manipulate across our surface. And you know, you can have different textures, you can layer it, like here it looks almost like I'm making, you know, like wind coming at this sphere now. So you can layer, layer your dust just as you could also you know, layer with the stick itself. Some movement in there. And there you have it. And then the last step is to clean up your paper. I'm Angela. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you're interested, check out our others. Mm -hmm.